Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cell to Singularity Beyond video. So today we're continuing on from where we left off. So we got a good load of the exoplanets. It's been about um, 22 hours since I last um, was on, as you can see. But yeah, let's go ahead and I'll double it. Why not? So we get two days worth of stuff pretty much. So that should easily be enough for hopefully for us to fly through this now. So here's all the bits we got last episode. So we started off at Form Hulk's Wing. What's 12B? Um... We're calling this Gleezer. That's its new name there, but we'll still know that as Gleezer 436B. Kepler 70B, and then we still have one more here. Which is a mystery what that is. So we will see. I mean, I don't know, 55 can quarry coming maybe. I know it's a red colour because we saw it in the... Um... Ah, oh, well, there it is there. Jansen, it says it there. I'm not sure what Jansen actually is, though, but we'll see that. So rank up former Hulk's ring. I mean, we're about to find out what it is right now, probably. So let me just upgrade it straight away. Oh, I did the wrong one. Ah, that was fine. We can still afford the other one. There we go. Right, so that's leveled up. Looks like we've got a lot of leveling up to do as well. But as you can see, we've unlocked this. So what is Jansen? Here we go. Hello. Oh my god, that's very close to a start. So what is this? Oh, it is 55 can cry. Yay. Okay, good guess. Very good guess. Can't believe I guessed that. All right. So, super for orbits, a sun-like star far too closely for life to exist. What's intriguing is its extreme density. The planet is twice the size of Earth, but nine times more massive. This means it's terrestrial, but what is it made of? Well, it's got those very, uh, very, very pressure diamond material almost on it, the carbon. Got another object out here. So, other planets in the system. I like how it adds all the planets in the system as well. Look at that. That's cool. So, there we go. So is it just called Jansen then, or what's the star called? 55 Can Cry, isn't it? Just 55 Can Cry, there we go. Yeah, for Can Cry, yeah, yeah, cool. Cool. Right, so in the big depths of things, that's where it sits. Distance-wise, it's not the furthest thing out there. Cool, cool, but it looks like we'll, we should probably be able to finish this uh, very, very fast now, so... Uh, Rank that up, that's done. We'll rank start that again. Boost that. Let's get these things in. All we need to do is rank up uh, 55, and then that's literally this done. So, we'll go ahead and do that, really. So, we can, well, we can rank up a whole lot more than once. Let's just see how high we can pull it. Oh, we've got new discovery as well. There's the diamond crust here. Imagine a sea of lava, bejeweled with diamonds and bathed by liquid gas atmosphere. The planet's extreme density suggests a carbon core mix of iron and other heavy elements under the intense pressure. Pressurised carbon takes the form of graphite and diamond. There you go. Sweet. So get that, that will automate it. Let's just keep levelling that up. Should give us the other card we need. There you go. Tidal lock. One molten side of it faces its star at all times in what's called a tidal lock. On the dark side, clouds of monocle mine of minerals condense into rain. Uh, made sparkly by the glowing lava below. Planets like Earth are not tidy locked and are more suitable to life. There you go. Get that done as well. So I can't level it up again now. Okay, let's just level everyone up from reverse order. Get the really expensive ones out of the way. Let's get blur. So all of all of the strange worlds, we've just got a lot of hot planets. If you've noticed, look. I mean, from Hulk's ring, that's not even actual. That's not even a planet. That's just the ring around the star. Wasp 12B, obviously that's very hot. Gleezer here, that's also hot. Kepler 70B, hot again. And then 55 Cancroy at the end, again, another hot planet. So, I feel like we could have some Earth-like Earth, uh, Earth -like exoplanets in here for sure. Because these are all uh, hot ones. But again, we've still got more updates to come. So, we will see what is in here. So, Bambarines. So, we can just level all of these up before we finish this episode off. So... This one's going to be quite a short one of us just finishing this, because that, uh, obviously leaving the game for about 24 hours has made, uh, just let it grind it all out for us, which is good, so that's those guys all done. Alpha Centauri, get them up as well. Cool. But nonetheless, that's really it. I mean, I won't waste everyone's time just leveling all these up over and over again, but there we are. So that's that done, so there you go. Very nice. And that is this basically complete. So that's maxed. So deep space processing. So we still got more. But again, what is that? So I'll see something coming. Oh, look at, oh, there's another one there. Look how far it goes. It's still going. Okay. 
Still scrolling back. So there's still a lot of things to come. So if we just look on the achievements here, because this is kind of the little uh, cheat menu you can see to what's coming in the future. So there's those two done, but... So we're finished. So that's Kepler 70B there. So there'll be two achievements for 55 Cancro East. So that means there's another six more objects still to come. And obviously four more constellations as well. So my guess is that's probably at least two updates, possibly. Or two more episodes. So it'll probably take us to number 22, I'm guessing. But we will see. We can't even level this up. We're too... Uh, we can't afford it. <laughs> right. Anyways. Let's get those leveled up. So I think what we'll do is to finish off, we'll treat ourselves to one of those black holes and get just a load of cards to boost it. So when we start the next episode, we'll have all the cards helping us out. And this will give us more of that dark matter to upgrade our cards as well, actually. So that's good. So we'll go ahead and blow this up. There you go. It's a Cygnus... See, I reckon we're going to see a black hole at some point in the neutral. We haven't, we haven't, no, I think they got the texture and animation for it. I'm surely there's going to be one of these, you know, in this simulation at some point. It's one of the future objects. It's got to be. Right, there we go. Loads of stuff there. Okay, so now we can upgrade all this stuff. So we'll go ahead and do that. Anything for that? No, we didn't get any cards for 55 Kankari. What? Okay. <laughs> Um, we'll get away these. Yeah, things are getting expensive now. 2000 each. There we are. But anyways, guys, like I said, that will do it for today's episode. We have finished this off very faster than I thought we would, actually. But there we are. What do you think of that? So that is episode 20, Complete Itself to Singularity Beyond. So you can see, look at the nice big collection of stars we've got going on here now. That is a very cool. So all the way from the sun outwards. Yeah, that's awesome. Check that out. So the furthest we go out is Kepler 70B right now. And that's the full grid. See, I reckon eventually this would go all the way out to the Milky Way. In, in like an, another future version. Because we've got Celestial Body, Trans-Neptunium, and we've got Milky Way. But I reckon, you know, the, you could go all the way out to the Milky Way itself, in theory. But anyways, we will see. But with that all said and done, guys. Hope you enjoyed this short video, really. We, we just finished this thing off real fast ever. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe for more help on the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And with that all said and done, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.